Hi, it's Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Well, I hope that opening sequence didn't freak you out too much. Right, I'm going to show you how I did it in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. First of all, we'll start a new project called Mike Isabella, as you just heard the beautiful voice of my wife. Apart from you had to look at my face. Now I'm going to drag in the key elements that I'll need, that being the video and the voiceover that I synced up to my lips. So there you go. This is the video of me doing my little introduction. If I right click it and click new sequence from clip, it'll immediately give me the clip there in the timeline. Let's zoom into it and let's just play it back for good measure. Hi, it's Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Yep, so that really is me. You can absolutely see that. And there's the audio there. If I zoom in a bit, you can see the audio pops up. Uh, now here's my wonderful wife, Isabella VO. If I right click the audio and then click edit clip in Adobe Audition, boom, immediately, bang, it creates a new file. And very shortly, Adobe Audition will fire up and give me the opportunity to edit the audio that goes with my video. And there it is. There's that audio. Hi, it's Mike Russell. From so that's me saying my introduction, and this is the mock introduction from Isabella. Hi, it's Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. So let's do a little bit of lip syncing trickery right now. Multi track, click OK to that. Drag in that audio from my session and then the audio from Isabella. Try and match them up as best we can, and then select both audio waveforms. Right click automatic speech alignment, and the reference click is Mike Russell audio extracted and then I want to match it up to Isabella so let's click OK and immediately look at that we've got Isabella VO aligned okay so that is the aligned audio that should sync exactly with me speaking hi it's Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com so what do I do well I head to that newly aligned clip copy it go to Mike Russell extracted select it all and then paste and don't worry about any of that, just click OK. It's going to paste. And now when I save it, like so, and head back over to Premiere Pro, my audio has been automatically updated. And in fact, you can see the stripey area here because I cut off some of the ends, so it's just marked there nicely in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's see the final result. Hi, it's Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. For more tips and tricks like this, subscribe to my channel.